Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to fix the fatal error maximum execution time exceeded in WordPress. Now, as you work with WordPress, you may have noted that a lot of the code is mainly in a PHP programming language. Many times, your web hosting provider will set a limit on how much time it takes to use a PHP script. And so if you're running an update for a WordPress theme or possibly a plugin, if it reaches a maximum time, this will trigger the maximum execution time error that you might be seeing on your screen. So we can fix this very easily though. We have two main ways to fix this. We can do it manually or with a plugin. So let's look at the manual option first. So to manually fix this, we're going to edit our .htaccess file manually. Now I'm using FileZilla, but you might have your own FTP client that you like to use. Once you're logged into your web server, these are typically the files like WP content, WP admin, and your other folders. You should see a .htaccess file. If it's not there, you might have to look for hidden files, but typically it's exposed so you can see it. Once you find the file, simply open it with your favorite text editor. I'm using Notepad, and you have the option to either download this file or view and edit it manually if you're using FileZilla like I am. So I'm simply going to view and open it, and now I'm going to add a line of code to this file. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a PHP value for the maximum execution time of 300 seconds. If you're still getting an error, of course, you can increase it a little bit, but usually this simply fixes your problem, and then you can just save this, and then re-upload it. So if you download it to your computer, simply upload it back to your web server or simply save this And if you're viewing this live and then it should just simply refresh within your web server. Now you can go back in and try to update your plugin or your theme or whatever you're working on to see if the error goes away. Now, of course, if working with these files manually kind of, you know, scares you as something that you don't want to mess something up, which is greatly understandable, you might want to use a plugin. Simply go to your plugins and look for add new. Now we're going to search for a WP maximum execution time exceeded plugin. Once you find this, simply install and activate it and right out of the box, this plugin is going to increase your execution time to 300 seconds. And this should hopefully fix your fatal issue and you should no longer have this error. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.